What's up, farming family? How y'all doing today? Today, we're checking out the Diadem Vice. It's an EVA foam paddle. It's technically not USAPA approved. They drilled holes in it to make sure, you know, when they went to tournaments, people couldn't try to sneak and play with it. We're going to, you know, talk about how I feel about this paddle, what I think of EVA foam moving forward, and what is EVA foam? Because I've been looking into it and doing a little bit of research. I still don't know a crazy lot about it because some of the words are a little too big for me, but we're going to get into that. Stay tuned, and I hope y'all are doing good. Let's get into these specs. The Vice Paddle is made of EVA foam. EVA foam is an acronym for ethylene vinyl acetate. It's a closed cell plastic, and it's soft, but yet it's elastic. It's made by putting the ethylene or the vinyl acetate together, and it causes a polymer reaction. And it essentially turns it into a plastic foam. And then it's cut into sheets. And the sheets are also referred to as buns. There's a little info on EVA foam. I didn't want to get into crazy details on this. Because this is about the paddle and not EVA foam by itself. I can do a whole discussion on EVA foam if you all like that. But we're going to get right back into the specs for the paddle. Uh, the weight of the paddle is 8 ounces. The length is 16.4 inches. The width is 7.4 inches. The thickness is 16 millimeters. The balance is 235 millimeters. And we've already discussed that the core is made of EVA foam. The face is made of RP2 grit coating on high grade carbon fiber. I'm assuming that's just grit put on top of carbon fiber. That way there's a little bit of spin. The handle length is 5.3 inches. It doesn't have the 5.5 inches like most paddles are coming out with nowadays. But usually when you have a longer paddle length, you sacrifice paddle size. The grip size is 4 and an eighth inch. The Vice Paddle also has their new core molding system, which basically turns the Vice Paddle into an edgeless paddle. And it's supposed to be really durable to where if you scrape it on the ground trying to dig balls and stuff like that, it won't break. It's supposed to be really, really durable. When it came to the power of the Vice, I found myself on serves having to be very, very, very careful. I'm used to paddles like the Carbon 1X, the Legacy, paddles with a crazy amount of grit. So you could swing really hard and it would grip the ball enough to where the top spin would make it go in. With the Vice, I noticed the ball stuck to the paddle longer with the EVA foam, but it would repel it off at such a fast speed that some of them wouldn't get in. They would land just short of landing in. Like it had a lot of power. The ball just launches off of it if you're not careful. Especially when you're dinking and stuff. If you put too much on it, you're going to pop it up. Because it's uninspected until you get used to the paddle. Because it is completely different than anything you've ever played with. Like I said about the power, at the very beginning, it is very hard to control. Because it is completely different. It's like playing with something completely new. Like, you know how when you first started playing pickleball and you picked up a paddle and you was hitting everything popped up and everything just felt really strange for you? That's kind of how EVA foam is. After you get used to it, after a game or two, or after you've played with it for a while or did drills, you'll notice yourself getting used to the control aspect of it. And once you get used to the control aspect of it, it's actually pretty easy to dink and do your resets and stuff like that. Okay, I don't think it had a lot of spin at all. It was mostly the ball dwelling on the paddle. But if it had like a crazy amount of grit, like, you know, the new Carbon 1X, the Legacy Pro, the Vatic, the 6-0, those kind of paddles, I feel like the spin numbers would be through the roof. It would just be almost unplayable. <laughs> if you take it to locals, like people would just be getting upset probably. And I feel like that's why they didn't apply like a crazy amount of grit to it on top of it being EVA foam. They don't want people, you know, getting upset and getting mad when you're playing with this paddle because then they wouldn't be able to sell the paddle to people, so there'd be no reason to make this product. This is for people to enjoy outside of tournament play. Since it's a foam paddle, these paddles are extremely light. Like, you can move it around like it is nothing. It feels like you have a pillow in your hand. <laughs> that was a weird, a weird way to say it, but it is super, super light. You won't have any problem moving it from right to left to try to dink across your body, or anything like that. I know with like the Ben Johns Hyperion and other paddles that are super, super head heavy, 
people tend to struggle getting them around. It felt like it was pretty durable and that it wasn't going to just snap or mess up when I was swinging or spiking, resetting, scooping. None of that was really a problem and I didn't worry about that one bit. I generally don't have problems with paddles breaking at the handles or anything like that because I'm generally pretty peaceful like I've mentioned in my other videos. I've not had one mess up. But then again, in the future, you never know what could happen. But most companies are coming out with carbon fiber paddles that are unibody. So the braking you know, problem doesn't really exist like it once did. It's over $200. I'm not exactly sure how much EVA foam costs. I should have researched that. But if you're wanting a paddle that's sort of, you know, experimental, that's different, that in the future moving forward has a chance of possibly, this one probably will never get approved. They said they weren't ever going to put it up for approval. But in the future, EVA foam could get approved. So if you wanted like a sneak peek of how EVA foam feels in a paddle, you could get this paddle. Or if you're just, you know, a rec player who doesn't go to tournaments, you could always take this out and play with it. But at the end of the day, it's going to feel completely different and you aren't going to be able to take it to tournaments. But some people just want to get it, you know, to be able to enjoy it and have fun with it and play with it, you know, at the recs and just let other people play with it. My brother played with it a little bit. He didn't get to play with it enough to form an opinion. This is mostly a review of how I feel about it because I played with it a lot more than he did. And it was a really fun paddle. If you all could ever, you know, get the chance to play with one, I would definitely recommend playing with it just to see what it feels like. Because in the future, EVA foam will be a thing. It will get approved to some extent. This has been my review of the Diadem Vice. They have other paddles coming out in the near future. If you want me to review those, let me know in the comment section. I already know what millimeters one of them is. I didn't ask them if I could, you know, tell people, you know, what size was, is going to be coming out. That's all they told me. They told me they weren't going to tell me any of the juicy info, but I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to tell you how many millimeters it is, so I'm not going to. Just know they've got stuff coming out really, really soon. Leave a comment in the comment section if you want me to ask them about letting me review it. But until next time, have a good day. Stay safe, y'all. Drink plenty of water. Peace. Uh, no, I just got to remember, you can't swing anyone. The ball's going to be fast. I had to just sit it out.